so what materials did I use? For content revision, I primarily used the Kaplan 7 book complete study set. In addition, I used the Miles Down Anki deck, and as well, I used the PsychSoch 300 page doc. And all of the resources that I mentioned today will be posted in the description below as well. And for practice questions, section banks and full lengths, I completed five full lengths from Next Step, which I believe was formerly called Blueprint. I completed all the CARS passages from Khan Academy, and I also completed over 250 passages from Jack Weston CARS. And in addition to this, I also completed all of the AMC question banks, section banks, and all of the full length tests from a the AMC. But for me, what the absolute standout resource was would have to be the Miles Down Anki deck. With that being said, I would have to say that the absolute gold is all of the AAMC materials, and that includes the Q banks, the section banks, as well as the full length tests. So if you don't have the time or the money to invest in all of the different resources that are available to you, I would have to say that going with the AAMC materials, you'll not be disappointed because the AAMC is the company that makes the MCAT and what you see when you're preparing for the MCAT with these materials is very similar to what you'll see on test day. So in summary, the resources that I used are for content review, I used the Kaplan 7 book complete set. I used the Miles Down Anki deck, and then I used the 300 page Psych Soch doc. And for practice questions and full lengths, I used five next step full lengths. I used all the Khan Academy cars materials. I used a fair bit amount of Jack Weston for cars practice. And then I used all of the AAMC materials. So what was my average day like and how did I actually prepare to study for the MCAT? So before I got into the swing of things, I sat down at my desk and essentially I created a plan of what I wanted to accomplish each and every day until test day. And I created a Google Sheets spreadsheet which outlined exactly what chapter I was going to review that day, what questions I was going to do to practice, if I was going to do a full length, if I was going to review for this or if I was going to review the full length, etc. And I've attached my spreadsheet in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. I broke my study schedule down into two distinct halves, with the first 60 days involving content review, and with the final 60 days involving section banks, cue banks, and completing full lengths. Overall, I studied for approximately 540 hours over the course of 125 days. The plan itself was really quite granular and I broke it down into very digestible pieces for myself because I wanted to know exactly when I woke up, what was I doing that day, what did I have to prepare for, what did I have to review, what did I have to study, and this honestly really helped me to stay on track and also not fall behind. And I made sure that in my study schedule I did give myself some rest days and some days for leeway just in case other life events happened to pop up. For my weekdays and my weekends, these were both similar but also a little bit different. So for weekdays, my day would start at 5.30 a.m. I would wake up, make a coffee, get comfy, and sit down at my desk. And in the mornings before work, I would complete about two hours of Anki reviews or learn new Anki cards. And then I would go to work from about 9 till 5. And then after work, I would sit down at my desk once again and study from six till nine. And usually in, this, in these evenings, it would be completing one or two chapters of my Kaplan reviews. And then for the following morning, I would unsuspend the relevant Anki cards related to the new content that I reviewed the previous day. So all in all, my mornings would involve Anki, and then my evenings would involve reading different ch uh, textbook chapters. And then for weekends, it was more or less the same. Um, however, because I had a little bit more time on the weekends, I would aim to complete two to three chapters instead of one to two. And I would go through my similar process of completing Anki reviews and also learning new Anki cards. So to sum things up, on weekdays, my days would be ranging from about 5.30 a.m. till 9 p.m., and on weekends, it would be a bit similar with my days starting at around 6 a.m. and ending at around 4 p.m. in terms of study time. 
And to ensure that I stayed focused throughout this entire process, I employed something called the Pomodoro method. So what this is essentially is breaking up your time into study time and rest time. So for me, I would go 60 minutes studying followed by a 10 minute break. And this really allowed me to sit down, stay focused, stay on track. And I highly recommend also employing the Pomodoro method whenever you're doing work or doing studying. So now let's get to the good stuff, the practice questions and the full length exams. So I remember coming into this practice testing phase really excited because I was gonna be able to put to the test all of the different things that I learned over the past 60 days. And I would be able to really hone and refine my knowledge. And I was really excited for my first practice test because I was gonna be able to see just how much that I knew. So when I moved into the practice testing phase, my days were a little bit different than the content review phase. In the mornings, I would aim to complete about 90 minutes or so of practice questions, be that section banks or cue banks. And then after work, I would aim to review those questions, analyze what I did right, what I did wrong, add my incorrect answers or any concepts that I didn't understand into Anki cards, and then also complete my Anki reviews. And then for weekends, these were quite different than my weekdays. Each Saturday for nine Saturdays in a row, I would complete a full length MCAT. And my goal was to simulate the test environment as close as possible. So this involved going into a really quiet place, um, putting a mask on because I wrote it during COVID, and then also simula simulating when I would wake up, what I would eat for breakfast, what I would do in between those breaks, what I would eat for lunch, and essentially just go through the motions of exactly what I was gonna go through on test day because I really wanted to feel as prepared as possible for when the day did arrive. And then following my full length exam, I would take a break, relax, and then I would complete the rest of my Anki reviews for that following day. And then the next day on Sundays is when I would spend almost the exact time that it took me to write the MCAT the previous day, which is about seven hours or so. And I would spend this time going through a very detailed review and analysis, really seeing and analyzing each and every passage, each and every question to make sure that I can understand my, my thought process and why and how I answer those questions to make sure that I either can do these questions right in the future or for those that I did wrong, that I won't be able to make the same mistakes again. And then similar to the other practice questions for any concepts or questions that I didn't understand, I would then turn these into Anki cards. And for a more detailed breakdown on my entire study schedule from the content review phase to the practice testing phase and what I did each and every day, I have attached the link in the description of my spreadsheet. So overall, in particular for the practice testing phase, make sure that you do each and every piece of AAMC material, because as I mentioned, these are the folks who make the MCAT. And by doing these questions, you're gonna be much more prepared than if you, of course, were not to do these, or if you did any 30 third party resources. Thanks for listening today. And thanks for watching and being here with me today. You can do this. You can conquer the MCAT. Have a plan, stick to it, and you will be able to be successful. I believe in you. And I truly believe and hope that you'll be able to achieve your dream as well. That's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.